Hello there, this is David at AppWorks again with another cool trick. Today's cool trick is going to be how to create a sidebar navigation widget um, that's hidden away and pops open when you want it to and goes away when you're done. Um, and it's just for navigating around. It's a common uh, user interface pattern. You've probably seen it before where you click something and you have a little menu bar here and you can go, oh, I want to go to this place. Uh, now I think I want to go back to the first place. Now I want to go to the third place. So it's really simple, um, but kind of elegant, and it's nicer than having a bunch of buttons up here or a little popover, which kind of looks weird. So um, the way this technique works is basically it's using a card window, and the card window is aligned all the way to the left-hand side of the screen, and then the navigation script closes the card window and then navigates to the layout you want based on uh, a parameter that you've sent in on the buttons. But what's nice about this is that that navigation bar is just one layout. And so you can add new navigation and you don't have to add it to every layout. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'll show you how this works basically. Is uh, when you run the script debugger and you click on this, you'll see that it's going, oh, this button, all this does is pops a new window and it uses a card style um, and it goes to the sidebar card and the top and left alignment are both at zero. We also use the height get window content height um, and there's one other little trick you need to do to, uh, so that makes it fill up to the entire window. Um, there's one other little trick you have to do which I'll show you in a second. So now we've got the full window height. It'll fill it up no matter what the height of the size of the window is. Um, and we've got this card window aligned all the way to the left. We also have the close, so if I don't really want to navigate away, um, that's all I have to do. And if you look at this, you'll see it's just a button. This is all we actually have to set. Um, position zero, position zero, closed in parent window, and get window content height. And you choose the window style is card. Um, that same button can be pasted anywhere, and then you can see that um, on the other layout here, with the nav bar, we've just got a button bar. And each of these runs a nav script and it sends a parameter to let you know what layout you've chosen. Um, so this nav script is super simple. First thing it does is it checks to see, is this the card window that I have my menu bar on? If so, just close the window. So it closes that card window and then it uses the script parameter to navigate to the layout that you want. You can do whatever you want in this kind of a navigation script. Um, you can change which layout it goes to, but it's all sort of one place. This is the only place you need to maintain your navigation bar. Um, and the only other thing you want to do is there's a little hidden uh, widget down here. It's just a white line, so it doesn't show up on here, but it's anchored to the bottom over here, you can see. So that pushes the white area of the layout down to the bottom. Um, if you don't have that, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it's a little annoying, so we'll just um, align that to the top and you'll see that you've got this gray area because the background of the layout is gray. If you actually anchor that to the bottom, it pulls down the white area, and so it fills it up and looks better. Um, so that's about the entire technique. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, should save you some time, and it looks cool to boot. Thanks a lot.